Hi, hello there YouTube and welcome to a revolting review. I am Random Ross and today I review... Baghead. <laughs> So this is a supernatural uh, horror uh, that is written by Christina pa uh, Pamers and Bryce McGuire and Lorcan Riley and is directed by Alberto um, Corridor uh, and it stars um, Freya Allen and yeah, it stars Freya Allen, Jeremy Irvin, um, Ruby Barker, and Peter Mullen. Mullen. Is that it? Yeah, Peter Mullen. So, I've already said it's supernatural horror. So, um, this follows young woman Iris who inherits. Uh, an old run-down pub by her father and discovers a dark secret within the basement as a woman with a bag head with a bag on her head um, you know, is within the cellar and there is a guy who wants to you know, contact his wife from beyond the grave and this woman can conjure the dead and take on their appearance but the more that they use her, the more, you know, she starts to corrupt. And after two minutes, you know, the dead, you know, you can only speak with the dead for two minutes as well. And of course, uh, you know, Iris goes further down the rabbit hole, looks into this, discovers that it's a curse she's inherited, and things just escalate from there. So that's the essential plot. So what do I like about this film? Well, uh, I'd heard few things about it that it came out at the beginning of this year so I'm a little late to the game uh, but I thought I'd give it a watch see what the crack is and Freya Allen I liked her in this uh, she's an actress that I've actually started to take notice of um, I recently saw her in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes and then I saw her in this film and I thought oh I'm gonna know this woman so I thought I you know I'd see what else see what it's like and i've probably seen her in many other things but not really took notice of it till like recently but uh, yeah i thought she did a good lead in this didn't know she was english until i like looked you know heard her speaking and looked her up turns out she puts on the american voice in planet of the apes um but yeah i liked her character iris the protagonist and how she sort of you know started to start off innocent but then she went further and down this dark path but she had a friend that was trying to convince her that it's all a bad idea but with her being you know struggling financially she feels that she you know, can get some money out of this also there's a rich guy in it who uh, is called um what's the rich guy's name oh that's it neil uh, who wants to you know, contact his wife but then we find that he actually has more other intentions not just conjuring his wife but also he wants the curse as well and he gets more corrupt and more dark as the story goes on so uh, yeah I like the premise you know like a conjuring woman uh, we got a good uh, explanation for the woman that she was a witch or medium in the past and that people you know, used her to the point where she you know, ended up cursing it and and anyone who is in her care inherits that curse and Iris discovers that herself and yeah the bag headed woman quite creepy the way she shape shifts into the person that she summoned and what have you uh, but a few good visuals there but of course there was a lot of some negatives here were there were a lot of Dumb calls made in this, dumb decisions in this film. Also, the third act kind of threw me off a bit. You know, like, after a while it kind of got a bit, eh, you know, a bit flat for me. But, you know, the, the first act had my attention, but as the film went on, it just got 
less interesting for me and kind of felt a bit of a chore to watch but yeah it ended and I mean this could it have been a bit shorter I believe this is about an hour and 35 minutes so the runtime's all right but uh, yeah I can see why not a lot of people have spoke about this film why I haven't heard much about it but at the end of the day I thought it was a fairly decent one uh, um, but nothing to brag about like I say I feel that final act's just you know I just kind of got sidetracked with it so yeah that, that's just my personal thoughts and opinion others may have their different one so ratings I will give uh, Baghead you know what I will give it three stabs out of five I think I'd say it's sort of watchable but you got to be in the mood or I guess three stabs out of five for Baghead so have you seen this one let me know what you think down below in the comments did you like it did you get it yeah let me know all that and uh, all my social media links are down below in the description so feel free to check all out so yeah i've been random ross and this has been a revolting review on baghead so until next time oh well yeah until next time don't have nightmares